Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rich Tech. And in this episode, I want to talk about something quite interesting, something I had for a little while and I forgot to actually do a review of. It's concerning 3D technology, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Like the new shades? All right, so this is not just a normal black shades, and I don't know if you would actually be able to see that because now I'm seeing different colors, but this is actually a red and blue 3D glasses, and I think they call it anaglyphics, if I'm not mistaken, 3D anaglyphics, anagraphics, whatever, whatever. But the whole point of using these uh, glasses is that uh, you can use certain types of 3D movies on your television or whatever and you could just watch it through this and you should be able to convert whatever is on that screen you'll be able to see it as 3d now there's different types of 3d technologies i'm not going to go into all because i literally don't know all but i know a few and this is one um this is not what they use in imax technology um but this is i think the one of the original ways that we that that they came out the technology came out to watch 3D movies. Um, so I bought this on Amazon a while back. I think I paid between three and five dollars US for this. Um, and as you can see, it looks nice, right? Because it's red and blue. And so the whole idea behind this thing is that um, the red side filters out certain colors, and then the blue side filters out another set of colors. And when that happens, your eyes are able to put the two images together sort of side by side and 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 it, and it feels 3d to you so that's the 3d experience that you experience with it now i'm kind of reviewing the actual um the actual uh, the actual spectacle um glasses and i have to say that that when i bought it i was so excited of it um because you know it was like it, it looked good it was it, the pictures looked good I, you know i could notice that the blue was looking nice the red was looking nice but I have to tell you that you have to be very, very careful buying 3D glasses. Um, this one was nice because it's plastic. Some of them sell as paper glasses as well, too. They look flimsy, but I'm sure they're disposable. And they probably, even believe it or not, work better than this. Because I'll tell you what happens with this one. When I use this, when I put this on, and I can't visualize this, I can't show you guys this on the screen. Because obviously, with our perception, I can't literally show you what's in my, what I see in my eyes, right? So what's happening with this is that one side is darker than the other and it doesn't look that way right because you could see blue you could see red it looks about the same but it isn't and i have to tell you that that is where the problem happens because what happens is that when you put these glasses on imagine this when you put these glasses on you feel as if one of your eyes is not able to see like the other one can you imagine if you had to go through life with one eye being darker than the other not much fun, right? I mean, I sh I'm sure that a lot of people may have issues with their eyes. And I have to tell you, it is not fun when your eyes are, you know, like that. Um, so this is what happened with this when I tried to use this and view uh, a 3D uh, video. I, I was able to see some level of 3D graphics on in front of me. But the problem is that it felt as though one eye wasn't able to see better than the other. You'll say, well, Rish, you have one glasses. Maybe it's a problem with your eyes. I, I guarantee you it's not. I can see in both eyes, thanks be to God, um, at the same level per se. Um, so in terms of light and so forth, right? So I, I'm sure that it is the actual glasses itself that is the issue. So if you're going to be forking out, you know, um, three to five dollars, you'll say that that's not much. But if, if, it's in, if it's not usable, that was three to five dollars you're not going to use. And so I had these glasses for a while and I haven't used them because uh, I just simply can't get used to it. Now, one of the other challenges with these is that they, you have to be very, very up close to the screen. And the reason why is for you to be able to get the 3D uh, effect. What that means is that if you have, your, you have a large TV, but you're far away from even your 50-inch TV, then you still won't get the effect that you want. Because remember when you're in the cinema, the, the cinema, the, the, the screen is so wide that you feel as if you are entirely seeing the screen. Well, that's kind of what you need. So even if you have a 50 inch TV, you still have to be close up to it. But anyways, that's beside the point. So the red and the blue, I think that it might be the red, uh, sorry, the blue that was darker. And that's what causes the problem because um, 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so let's let's flip it around a little bit. What I can describe to you here is that right now, the red one more light is entering the red one, and so I actually feel as though the red one is is too bright, um, because the blue one is dark. So I'm feeling like I'm I'm not seeing on this side with the blue one. I feel like I'm seeing too much on this side. And, and that's the imbalance. So that's the perception that you feel. There's two perceptions that you can feel. I'm sure that's like on a seesaw, right? You could decide which one you're seeing. It's either that you feel that this, the red is too bright or that the blue is too dark. And that's what, hap- that's what is happening here. So I'm thinking that they may have to sort uh, figure out how they're going to uh, resolve, you know, resolve that. In any case, there's not a lot of videos out there as well that um, offer... 3D, these colored 3Ds anymore. It, it seems that the 3D technology hasn't made it big, and that's unfortunate as well. Um, because I like to spend less money on cinemas, because uh, cinemas are very, very expensive here. Um, considering, um, and spend more time, you know, just being home watching 3D technology. Unfortunately, this didn't go. Same thing. I'm, I'm having. I'm noticing with the 360 cameras. People don't seem to be into 3D as yet. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe at some point soon that will happen. But guys, uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you so much for viewing this video. Um, I should probably just tell you as well to to show you what, you know, the, how, how which one it was. It actually claimed 3D Vision here. And you see NVIDIA and all this fancy stuff and, uh, and 3D Vision Discover. And that's pretty much all that's to the glasses itself. Um, so yeah, if you're looking out for it, I wouldn't suggest you buy this one. All right, guys, so thank you so much for viewing. I'll see you guys again soon. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, Hit that bell icon without hitting the bell icon. You know, I can't notify you, which defeats the purpose of subscribing. I don't exactly know why YouTube does that, but I I should be very careful what I say about YouTube because I don't want them to ban me as well. All right, so um, thanks again for viewing and stay tuned for another episode of Rich Tech coming soon. Bye.